there's always a memory connected to it. I mean, I have so many memories of eating chicken and pastry when I was younger. I, I'm trying to recreate that memory or give Adriana that memory or that sense of tradition, a sense of belonging, a sense of being. No other dish really recreates that feeling when I eat it. My name is Rosie Bowen from Baltimore, Maryland, a uh, member of the Lumbee tribe of North Carolina. Um, also owner of Rose's Bakery in Northeast Market. Hi, I'm Adriana Bowen Herrera. Um, I'm also a member of the Lumbee tribe because of her and um, I'm Mexican because of my dad. My father came uh, from Lumberton 50 some years ago uh, for work. At that time, there was there was a lot of Lumbees migrating from um, Lumberton up here to Baltimore. My grandma always made sure everybody had a plate that they loved. <laughs> she she would cook all these great meals, and I can remember going there many Sundays after church. My grandmother knew she didn't have chicken and pastry. I was going to cry. I just started recently liking chicken and pastry because I used to never like it before because I considered it like sweet potatoes and cheesecake and was it most raisin things, old people food. Um, and I'm young and I'm hip. <laughs> Chicken and pastry, each family has a different way of doing it. My, my grandmother, we, we were raised using an old hen. In my personal recipe, I just use a, a fryer all purpose chicken, just not a roast or, or something like that, because uh, I feel like the meat's more tender. And then now Adriana has started putting lemon pepper. So well, I don't I put mean, it in the whole pot, just in my bowl. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess each to its own. Southern cooking is pretty hard for me to do just because I feel like it's put on like this, like pedestal that it's like, just, it's like delicious and it has to be really seasoned well and just perfect. The only things I really know how to cook are like, just like for one person really, um, are like single serving like sort of things or like that feed two people at most. We cook together a lot. And I have to, I have to remember like what level of cooking skills Adriana is on. Adriana likes to follow recipes like to the T. Me, I'm like, oh, well, we'll just wing it. You know, it is what it is. And I'm a measurement kind of person. When Grandma Pearl showed me the recipe, she said you put a hand to this, a hand to this, a hand to this. What if your hand was small? Can I use my hand? Right. She'll be like, well, tell me why you put that in there. And I'm like, I can't logically tell you why. It's just because it's that way. You know what I mean? I'm also and a science-based person. You take your flour and mix it with the the broth from your chicken and make it into a dough almost similar to a pie dough just like chicken and dumplings except the difference is that the uh the pastry is rolled out uh roll it out to the thickness that you you desire so like i said it really depends on how you like your pastry Chicken and pastry means fellowship. It means a gathering. It, it brings people together in a way that maybe another dish wouldn't. When they have events at the Indian Center or they have something going on at the church or events, uh, I've been called on a lot of times to cook for the community. I, I guess out of all the grandchildren, I was the only one that like really took a liking to cooking because I, to me, it brought the family together. Everybody has their gift. I guess mine was just cooking because I like to eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like a that. Important thing with dropping it in, in the pot is that at, after so many pieces you drop, you have to stir it so it doesn't um, start to stick together. So you always gotta be making sure that it's not sticking to the box. When I cook now, it gives me a sense of happiness. It gives me a sense of happiness when I see people eating it, enjoying it. Mop Faker. 
chicken and pastries on Sunday. They always fixed it on Sunday. Yep. Or told always have a good time. Had quite a crowd of chicken. Well, the main thing for me is the connection to just, I guess, the ballot, like the like how valid it makes um me feel as a Native American person and just the community in general. Parts of us are being lost to history, but it's like things like chicken and pastry that like keep that like keep it going, keep it alive. Adriana never got to see the good years of like family dinners. She did see some, but she was very young to remember. So these are the sense of traditions that I want to pass to her and and so she can pass to her children. We'll probably get off this call and go cook something. What are we gonna make? I'm looking know. at the box of Cheerios over there. <laughs> but um but but chicken and pastry is like I don't know it's delicious.